bit of DIY update. I need to magnetize the knights because it's getting really messy and I need a faster way to take them off the board and put them back on the board. So I've been told um, to use a, a tray, a MDF tray. So I got one to use one of these uh, sheets of metal. So I put one in and then to use magnets. So I tried one. I tried two. I tried three. And this is what happened. It's crap. So initially I was looking for a solution and I found something interesting. Well, in England it's uh, it's a driving learning plate or learning to drive for newly qualified driver. It's uh, magnetic, it's adhesive and it cost me a pound. So yeah, very cheap at uh, the local bazaar. And um, so I did have taped one on the top of the metal sheet or magnetic sheet that I, uh, I bought on eBay, which was crap. And then I've, um, I've taped the other side under my knights. And even if you patch it, you know, as long as you line the stream of magnets, this is what happens. Da -da -da, fully magnetized, really easy. So don't have to do it on a tray. Um, I started with one of my old trays, which is basically even more DIY. It's a um, self-adhesive floor tile, vinyl. And then I've got some sprues on the side. And then what I've done is that um, under the, um, the piece of uh, paper that covers the self-adhesive on the tile, I put one of these learning to drive plates and I put the piece of paper which was painted, which I kind of like, on top and then of course I put my sh sheet of uh, opposite learning to drive plate there and bim! Fully magnetized, so that's for the Questy Knight, that's, that's going to be great. Um, I don't know if it's going to help some of you, but I need to do that for a tournament that I'm going to take part in. And it's a bit of a nightmare to do it with these knights, so I wanted to share that. A little bit a little less of hassle, a little bit of advice. Hope that helps. Thank you.